Hi there. So recently I uploaded this image from Photoshop that already had a drop shadow to it. And I kind of like the way the drop shadow looks. So I was thinking, well, maybe I should add some drop shadows to these blurb modules. So let me show you how to do that. You're going to want to log into your dashboard. Go to the page in which you want to add the drop shadow. Click here on Use Visual Editor. Now I've already done all that, so here we are. The reason I'm doing this in the visual editor first is because I want to see how the drop shadow looks and then I'm going to take the CSS code and apply it to my style sheet. First we're going to go to the gear icon, click on that, come over here to CSS, we're going to come down here to the main element, we're going to type in box hyphen shadow colon and just to get started we're going to type in zero picks, zero picks, zero picks zero picks and I'll explain what all these are the RGBA 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0.75 and then semicolon alright the very first column here where it says zero picks this is your left right shadow your horizontal shadow so if we put in 10 you can see it there and if we put in a negative it goes the other direction the next column is your vertical shadow so it goes up and down. So again, we put 10, you can see down here that it dropped down. And if we put negative, it goes up. The third column is your blur. It's the amount of blur that's gonna be added to your shadow. Again, you put 10, you can see it has a nice blur. You put 100, it's really blown out. And the fourth column is the spread. Now here we have the RGBA. Now this is your color, 000 is black. So let's say we wanted to make it white or red, there we go. You can just change these numbers. So as you can see, this is now white because we changed the values to the white values. So let's go back and make it black. And the last one is opacity, and that's this number here. This is a 75% opacity. We make it five. You can see how much lighter it gets. All right, so that's how you set up the box shadow. So now I actually want to set it up so it looks good on my page. So I'm going to, let's put this back at 75 to start there. Now I think this is way, way, way too much of a, a shadow. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change my spread to about 5. And then I'm going to change my, hor my vertical to 5 and my horizontal to 5. Okay, I think that looks pretty good, but it's a little more than what I want for this. I just want to have a nice small drop shadow, so we're going to do 2-2. Two, two. Let's change the spread to 2. Maybe that's a little dark, so maybe make it 5. There you go. Now see, that's a really subtle drop shadow, and that's what I wanted. A real subtle one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to come down here and paste it twice, and then we're going to add some CSS here to help it be read by some older browsers in Chrome and Safari and Firefox. So we're going to add hyphen webkit hyphen the box shadow and hyphen moz moz hyphen the box shadow. So now what we want to do is I actually want to put this in my style sheet because I want to be able to add this drop shadow to other modules including these two. So let's go ahead. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to give this a class. I'm going to call it drop shadow effect. And then I'm then I'm going to check this. Then we're going to come up here to this gear icon and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to call this drop shadow effect. And same thing here drop shadow effect. Okay, so now let's go into our style sheet. Now we have a child theme, so we're gonna put this in our child theme, but if we did not have a child theme, what we would do is we'd come up here and all the code you're gonna see me enter in a moment would be entered here into the C custom CSS panel. But since we have a child theme, we're gonna come over here to the style sheet and do it. Now as you can see, I've already remarked this out. So I have add drop shadow to module, and then I have horizontal vertical blur spread. The reason I did that was it reminds me what those four numbers are. So let's go ahead and give it a class and we called it drop shadow effect. Let's add the brackets. And then we're going to just go ahead and paste what we what we already have. Update the file. 
so when we reload this actually I'm not going to reload it yet you see what I did is I hadn't saved it yet and it gave me a warning so we're going to come over here to save it first let's exit the visual builder let's reload it so as you can see now we now have drop shadows behind all of our modules so anywhere I have a module I can now just add that drop shadow effect to the class and it would give me a drop shadow all right, well, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click on like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.